meeting to order. Welcome everyone to the Committee of Adjustment meeting of November 13, 2018. My name is Ron Chatta, Committee Chair for today's meeting. This is a meeting of Committee of Adjustment. The Committee of Adjustment is composed of five citizen members who are appointed by Brampton City Council. The Committee is authorized by the Ontario Planning Act to consider application for minor variances from the provision of the City of Brampton Zoning Bylaw. The Committee also consider applications for consent, sometime referred to as land division applications, <coughs> which includes severing a new lot from an existing lot, a lot addition easement mortgages, or leases in excess of 21 years. My first request to ask those present to ensure that all cell phones and other electronic devices are turned off or placed on a non-audible mode during the meeting. I would like to introduce committee members to my immediate left member, Ms. Desiree Doffler, to my far left member, Mr. Robert Crouch, to my immediate right member, Mr. Russo. Welcome back, sir. To my far right uh, member, Mr. Richard Nurse. And my name is Ron Chatta, committee member for committee chair for today's uh, meeting. Seated at the table at the right side uh, of the co uh, committee is uh, Ms. Jeannie Myers, secretary treasurer for committee of adjustment. And seated near the podium, we have city staff who will assist uh, the committee today. Staff, could you please introduce yourself? <coughs> Through you, Mr. Chair, I'll start with on this side.
Okay, no problem. Committee members, any question, any concern regarding this uh, request? Just a question pertaining to. Please go ahead. Through you, Mr. Chair, uh, to staff, uh, the applicant is requesting January 22nd or after. Uh, would the January 22nd be sufficient for any other? Uh, I guess you were prepared to. Uh, uh, already uh, address your concerns, but would January 22nd be suitable? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, January would be, uh, that day. Okay, thank you. Okay, so if no further question, I would like to have a motion to motion defer. defer to January 22nd. Motion to defer to January 22nd by Mr. Crouch, seconded by Mr. Russo. All in favor? This is deferred to January 22nd. Another application we have, uh, also to defer to January 22nd, uh, our property address is 9 Ocean Avenue, application A18132. Morning, committee members and uh, staff members. Uh, my name is uh, Jaspreet Porti. I'm the owner of uh, 9 Ocean Avenue. Uh -huh. uh, I'm applying to uh, defer uh, my hearing to January 22nd. Uh, we are working through issues that the committee had raised uh, last time, or, the, or rather the engineering staff had uh, raised, uh, so that we have a possible solution. Uh, it's just that we have to take some steps to, uh, to get that done. Uh, the biggest uh, task uh, that we have to do is get the survey done. Uh, so I had... Uh, uh, request for course go out uh, for the survey and uh, I have chosen a potential uh, surveyor so he was supposed to be done last week but for some reason he couldn't get it done but he's gonna get it done this week so uh, I'm just requesting some more time so that I can do all this paperwork submit the solution to the engineering staff um, so that they can they can uh, look at it and you know get their approval so so that's where I'm at at the moment I think uh, if we defer it to January 22nd, it should be enough. Um, so that's that's my current assessment and that's my request. Okay, sir. Committee members, any question concerns so far? Uh, <coughs> staff, uh, what's your opinion? Uh, the report says uh, the recommendation to defer January 22nd. It's uh, quite a bit of time. I hope uh, it will be enough time to uh, find a proper so the yeah. Yeah. Yes, that's before the request before also January 22nd. Okay. So there's no violation notice or anything, any no. pending? There is violation notice pending, but the, the deferral will have no impact on that. It's they're not they're not running in tandem at this point in time. Okay. So if uh, that's the thing then uh, I don't mind supporting this deferral as well. Anybody like to move on? Motion to defer by Mr. Duffler, seconded by Mr. Crouch. All in favor? Yes. This is deferred to January 22nd as well. Thank you. Any other, uh, anybody else in the audience, any applicant or property owner uh, wishes to defer or withdraw their application? None? For those unfamiliar with the Committee of Adjustment Procedure and Process, I'd like to give a brief explanation and scope. Following some procedural matter that we have already undergone, the Secretary Treasurer will call the applications by announcing the application number, the name of the applicant address, 
of the property subject to the application. The applicant or authorized agent representing the applica applicant will be then come to the podium, state their name and address for the record, and then present uh, the application. I request that you reserve any questions or comments pertaining to the staff report until after planning staff has had an opportunity to present. If there's if there's anyone in the attendance who wishes to speak to a particular application, you will be given the opportunity to do so when the application is presented. Any decision made here today uh, may be appealed to the local planning appeal tribunal uh, previously through the Ontario Municipal Board. Uh, appeal received in the city clerk's office associated with the minor variance and consent application will be processed and forward to LPAT. This process uh, may be commenced with Secretary Treasurer by filing a completed appeal form and filing fee within the prescribed 20-day appeal period. Information pertaining to the appeal process may be obtained by contacting the Secretary Treasurer within the city clerk's office. Now we move, move on to new consent applications. Can you please speak up a bit, sir? Yes, uh, first name is Muhammad, last name is Khan, and I'm the owner of 29 Torrance Woods. Okay, you wish to add anything uh, besides the solidity being presented? I believe this staff is um, they were okay with the three different variances, um, uh, except the one they had an issue with. Mm -hmm driveway with. Um, I still believe um, I'm still requesting uh, the driveway to be left the way it is as we use that as a walkway. Uh, if the car is too far, far close to the curb then we use that as a walkway and it's not part of the driveway. It's actually a paved brick pathway that we use. So. Okay, no problem. We'll get to hear uh, staff when the turns will come. Uh, Quarry members, any question to uh, the property owner? None. Anyone in the audience wishes to speak on this application? None. Staff, could you please weigh in your comments? Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, staff is in support of this application in part, subject to a number of conditions. Mm -hmm. uh, condition number one is that the that various number three, which is to permit an existing driveway width of 7.87 meters, be refused and a driveway width of 7.40 meters be approved. Condition number two, that the driveway width be reduced to a maximum width of 7.40 meters and the permeable landscaped open space on the west or left side of the driveway be restored within 90 days of the decision of the approval or as extended at the discretion of the Director of Development Services upon receipt of a request, uh, written request for extension from the owner. Condition number three, that a building permit shall be obtained within 60 days of the decision of the approval. Condition number four, that drainage on the adjacent properties shall not be adversely impacted. Condition number five, that drainage from the existing unheated addition shall flow into the applicant's property. Condition number six, that the extent of the variances be limited to that shown on the sketch attached to the public notice. And uh, condition number seven, that failure to comply with and maintain the conditions of the committee shall render the approval null and void. Thank you. I'm Sorry. okay with everything he's asking for except the driving price. Okay, sure. Uh, I think uh, based on the structure we have seen in your backyard, I think staff is uh, very fair with your uh, application. Yes. And. Uh, during my site visit, I noticed your driveway has been extended. I think with the minor adjustments, you'll be back in the shape, and uh, I don't think so. There's any issue for that. To bring uh, the driveway back? Like uh, I am. Really in a driveway. It's Sorry. The pathway that we use to go into the house. It's not. It's not a drive driveway. It's, it's the brick work just put on there just to walk on it. 
You mean the interlocking portion you have uh, put together, the extended driving? Extended That's what you're requesting? Yes. Okay, no problem. We'll see how and committee member. Is, uh, I think it's the difference of a foot and a half. That's what they're talking about. Okay. Uh, go ahead, Mr. Rusa. Uh, as, as Chair uh, Ron Shannon mentioned, I, I, do, I do believe staff has done a great job of, of addressing the issues. I think they've been very fair with actually accommodating um, the extended driveway width and uh, have actually increased from what is uh, allowable to the uh, to go up to the 7.4. Um, what I believe they've done, and correct me if I'm wrong, um, staff, is uh, ensure that there's a permeable portion uh, with your adjacent neighbor. And if in, con in condition two, they highlight that. So I think their requests have been very, uh, are very reasonable, uh, in particular, um, seeing that there were other concerns as well. Uh, I do highlight the fact that uh, if I do support this, I want to just stress the fact that a building permit is required. Um, that is a condition here because uh, I did notice um, some structural issues and I think that would be something that at that point in time uh, building department can address and uh, if there's nothing there, then there's nothing there. If there is, then it would have to be corrected. So I just want to highlight I that as well. That, yes. Okay, any other question or concern uh, or comment by committee members? None. If not, I uh, would like to move on uh, with this application, A18170. Motion to support staff recommendations. Motion to support staff recommendation by Mr. Nurse, seconded by Mr. Uh, Crouch. All in favor? So this application has been supported the way uh, staff recommended their uh, conditions. Okay? All right. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning, everybody. Um, we're here to get a second minor variance done as they ran into a small little hiccup to realize that uh, 11 years ago when they had the backyard done and they had a pool installed that the dimensioning of the pool was not correct with the property. Unfortunately, everybody followed suit to find out that the cabana corner was encroaching closer than what the drawing approved drawing called for. So they have resubmitted to have all this information redrawn. I have measured the entire property. I have put down all the accurate numbers. Um, I know we had visitation from city staff and everything. Mr. Laura was there and uh, I just wanted to make sure that it was safe because originally when they were putting in the cabana in the area, the columns of the front of this cabana were going to be too close to the pool, which created a really bad hazard. Somebody would get hurt, guaranteed. So they adjusted everything back. Unfortunately, it encroached on the original <laughs> numbers on the drawing. So everybody made adjustments to make it look one symmetrically pleasing and <coughs> safe. So basically that's uh, why we're here again to have this adjusted and continue on. There is a permit, existing permit with it. We've met everything on the permit. We've met everything with the committee for height and size and everything, but this corner became an issue. And uh, we're just asking to have this uh, adjusted. No problem. We'll uh, get to hear uh, the committee members and the staff. Mr. Chair, if you could identify himself. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm David Mazurka, close friend of uh, Mr. and Mrs. Senna. Your address, please. It is 24 Natalie Court, Brampton, Ontario. Thank you. Committee members, any question or concern? None. Anyone in the audience wishes to speak on this application? Staff, could you please weigh in your comments? Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, staff recommends uh, approval of this application subject to a number of uh, conditions. Condition number one, that the accessory building shall not be used as a separate dwelling unit and that the permission for habitable space in the accessory building shall be limited to the provision of one washroom and one bar sink. 
condition number two, that the proposed cabana and the sitting area and barbecue area, as identified on the sketch attached to the public notice, remain of an uh, open style construction and not be enclosed, with the exception of the washroom and two utility rooms. Condition number three, that the extent, size, and location of the variances be limited to that shown on the sketch attached to the public notice. Condition number four, that a privacy fence be provided and maintained along the, uh, the portion of the exterior side yard beyond the rear wall of the dwelling and the rear yard of the lot. Condition number five, that the accessory building shall not exceed a height of three meters. Condition number six, that a revised building permit for the cabana and barbecue be obtained within 60 days of the decision of the approval. Condition number seven, that approval of the variances under minor variance application A18-106 be declared null and void. And that condition number eight, that failure to comply with and maintain the conditions of the committee shall tender the, the approval null and void. Thank you. So do you understand and accept these conditions? Yes, we. everything has been done to a T. We just found this little hiccup <laughs> after things were going. No problem. Uh, let's go ahead, Mr. Uh, three, Mr. Chair, just, just clarification. Our um, staff has had an opportunity to go to the site because I, I was there and uh, it has all been built. So is staff satisfied as well that those setbacks have been met? Uh, Sorry, the, the application has been revised as a result of site visits conducted by staff and where it was identified that it didn't comply with the previous decision of the committee. Whether planning staff is satisfied with the way it looks now, I presume, is part of their opinion to you. Okay, and yeah, and, and I just ask it, I mean, I know it's the obligation of the applicant and I think they've done that, but I just wanted to see if staff has had an opportunity so that the, if there is a miscellaneous accounting or difference of opinions, it's not, they don't have to come back again. Yeah, I understand that that's what the revised plans are based upon is what is currently on site now. Okay. I'm comfortable with the, uh, the contractor has done his job and due diligence. Thank you. Okay. Uh, if all is well, then looking forward to motion to proceed. Motion to... Motion to approve Motion to approve with conditions by Mr. Russo. Seconded by Mr. Nurse. All in favor? This has been... Approved. Thank you very much. Welcome. Property is located at 48 Fox Acre Road. Good morning, good morning all. Uh, I'm the owner of Nuno Proposa. Um, I get upstairs uh, to the basement um, with a friend of mine. Um, so I need to you know if it's going to be a Sorry about my English, but it's not the best. That's okay. <clears throat> okay, no problem. Uh, we have your application in front of us, and uh, we'll go through some discussions, and uh, we'll find some solution for you. Thank you. Committee members, any questions or concern? None. Anyone in the audience wishes to speak on this application? None. Staff, could you please weigh in your comments? Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, staff is in support of this application, subject to the uh, a number of conditions. Condition number one: that the existing driveway leading to the uh, sorry stairway leading to the below grade entrance shall be partially demolished to establish an an interior side yard setback of uh, 0.65 meters, and to remove any encroachment over the existing easement. Condition number two, that a building permit shall be obtained within 60 days of the decision of the approval for the existing stairway to the below grade entrance to the house. Condition number three, that the 
below grade entrance shall not be used for an unregistered second dwelling unit. Condition number four, that the applicant shall provide a side yard drainage design that ensures that the drainage from the applicant's side yard uh, follows the approved drainage design for the property, is unobstructed by the proposed below grade entrance, is contained within the subject property, does not impact the adjacent property. The applicant shall obtain a written approval to this effect to the satisfaction of the Director of Engineering Services within 60 days of the decision of the approval of the committee. Condition number five, that the extent of the variances be limited to that shown on the sketch attached to the public notice. And condition number six, that failure to comply with and maintain the conditions of the committee shall then to the approval null and void. Thank you. Okay. Uh, sir, do you understand and accept these conditions? Did you read everything is the way you want? Yes, I agree. Oh, yes. Okay. So, uh, what is going to be the, 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 the site? Mr. Russo? Oh. We're still going to be making that decision, but okay. I guess um, I want to echo what um, Mr. Shada had mentioned. Do you understand the conditions? Because there are obligations for you. Uh, in terms of having an engineered letter, um, a new uh, a building permit, these are all things that you do understand that you'll need uh, in order for this to be accepted. Do, do you understand what we're saying right now? In other words, you need to follow a procedure. You need to work with the staff after after uh, this uh, meeting. Okay. Get in touch with the staff, and they will guide you. What's uh, what's the procedure for you to get uh, the permit? Oh, okay, okay. And there is some modification need to be made as well. You need to make some changes. Changes. So, what changes do I need to do? Staff, could you please uh, uh, read? I believe the I need to go first condition. Uh, no. Yeah, the the stairway which has been already constructed. Previously, uh, a variance a variance uh, to the extent of zero point five meter was requested. Okay. Uh, but they, we staff have discovered that there is an easement right away for the adjacent property on your property for the purpose of maintenance of their property. So uh, currently, your uh, the variance that you're proposing, the, that easement is being encroached upon. So staff is requesting that the width of the stairway should be reduced to 0.65 meters so that the easement, the, the, there's no encroachment on the easement. Okay, I will yeah. do that yeah. if I need to. Sure. Yes. Okay. If uh, no further discussion, looking for a motion to proceed. Motion to approve with uh, conditions. Motion. Recommendations. Motion to staff. Staff's recommendation by Mr. Do Ms. Doffler. Seconded by Mr. Russo. All in favor? It's approved. Please work with the staff for uh, further steps. Okay. So you, you guys are gonna send me a letter to, to me. To yes, you will be notified uh, uh, by the city, and uh, then you can get in touch with staff, and uh, you can maybe you can meet uh, staff after the meeting. Okay. And this is not going to be a very long meeting, so you can maybe wait here, have a coffee, and come back, uh, and you can discuss further uh, with the gentleman after the meeting, and then he'll guide you the further steps. Okay. Okay. You. Have a good morning. Thank Thanks. you. Thank you so much. Thanks. Calling application A eighteen one seventy four Smart Read Brantford Two Inc. Property is located at nine nine two zero Airport Road. Good morning, Mr. Chair and members of the committee. My name is Joe Seymour with Smart Centers. Um, this application is for a minor variance on our property. You may recall a few weeks ago we were here to ask for a lot addition and a uh, severance. Uh, so those were granted by yourselves. Um, and this application is to correct for the zoning that doesn't allow for the uh, self-storage use within a portion of that severance that was created. So I think uh, the staff report is very favorable. We're in agreement with it, and I'm available for any questions that you might have. Okay. 
Can members, any questions, concern? None? Anyone in the audience wishes to speak on this application? And staff, could you please bring in your comments? Uh, great, Mr. Chair. Uh, staff, are the opinion that application A18-174 is supportable, subject to the following conditions being <coughs> Number one, that the extent of the variance be limited to the that shown on the sketch attached to the public notice. Number two, that the owner I, owner finalize site plan approval under city file SP 18-028.000, execute a site plan agreement, and post any required financial securities and insurance to the satisfaction of the Director of Development Services. Number three, that associated consent applications B18021 and B18022 be finalized. And finally, that failure to compi comply with and maintain the conditions of committee shall render the approval null and void. Okay. As you already mentioned, you are in agreement uh, and accept these conditions? Yes, sir. Okay. If no further business, uh, looking for a motion. Motion to support with staff's recommendation by Mr. Russo, seconded by Mr. Upper. All in favor? Approved. Thank you. Thank you very much. Calling application A18175, State View Homes, Ula La Towns, Inc. The property is located on Cutterview <laughs> Road. Good morning, Mr. Chairman, members of the committee, and staff. My name is David Fay. Last name is spelled F A Y E. My address is 338 Lakeshore Road East. Box 52147, Hopeful, Ontario, L6J7N5. Okay, thank you. Would you uh, continue? You can go ahead and start uh, your application. Uh, we have your application in front of us. Anything else you wishes to add or you want to say, you are more than welcome. Yes, thank you. So I'm here today on behalf of Stateview Homes. Mm -hmm. Stateview has a 51-unit townhouse project. Could you please speak up a bit, if you don't mind, sir? Is the mic on? <laughs> the mic system is not working. The mic system is not working. Oh, it's not working. Yeah, mic's not working. Yes, I'll speak oh. louder. Okay. Uh, the, the project before you today for the minor variance is at the intersection of James Potter Road and Credipy Road in Brampton. It's a 51-unit townhouse project. It has a zoning approval and it has a subdivision approval. It's currently going through the site plan approval process. As we were going through that process, Brampton staff requested some fencing, decorative fencing, be installed in front of those units in front onto Credit View Road and James Potter Road. Those units have access from the rear from the internal road pattern so there are no driveways off of those external roads to these units. The fencing was accepted by my client, uh, but we did find out that the approved zoning bylaw doesn't permit fencing in the front yard, and it also didn't permit the height. So the fencing requested by staff and the height of that fencing uh, was not permitted by the approved zoning bylaw. So we've made this minor variance application to uh, comply with the staff requirements. There are two minor variances required. One is dealing with permission to have the fencing in the front yard mm -hmm. of the units. The second is to permit a height of fencing of 1.2 meters, and both of those would then comply with the staff request through the site plan approval process. Okay. Any members, any question, concern uh, to the gentleman? <coughs> None. Anyone in the audience wishes to speak on this application? None. Staff, could you please bring your comments? Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, staff is in support of this application subject to uh, five conditions. Condition number one, that the owner finalize site plan approval under city file SP18-007.000. Execute a site plan agreement and post any required financial securities and insurance to the satisfaction of the Director of Development Services. 
condition number two, that the owner secure a building permit for the proposed construction. Uh, condition number three, that the proposed fencing shall be a see-through decorative metal fence. Number four, that the extent of the variances be limited to that shown on the sketch attached to the public notice. And condition number five, that failure to comply with and maintain the conditions of the committee shall render the approval null and void. Thank you. Okay. Sir, do you understand and accept these conditions? Yes, Mr. Chairman. Those conditions are satisfactory to the client. Okay. So if no further uh, discussion, looking forward to a motion. Motion to approve with staff recommendation by Ms. Doffler. Seconded by Mr. Nurse. All in favor? Approved. Thank you. Calling application A18154, Rupinder Singh. The property is located at 706 Peter Robertson Boulevard. Good morning, Mr. Chair. My name is Philip Chimera and the committee members and the staff. Uh, we're here for a deferral meeting. Uh, all the previous comments that were made on the previous application have been addressed, and we've had the report from the staff. We're just looking for the committee's decision today on the uh, side yard there, concrete stairs. Okay. Committee members, any questions, concerns, comments? None. Anyone in the audience wishes to speak on this application? Seeing none, staff, could you please weigh in your comments? Through you, Mr. Chair. Uh, staff is of the opinion that this application meets the four tests of minor variance and uh, subject to following conditions being imposed. One, that the variance be approved only to the extent as indicated on the sketch attached to the public notice. Two, that a building permit be obtained for the below grade entrance within 60 days of the final date of the decision of the committee. Three, that the existing enclosure around the below grade entrance be removed within 60 days of the final date of the decision of the committee. Four, that the applicant provides a side, side yard drainage design that ensures that the drainage from the applicant's side yard follows the approved drainage design for the property and is unobstructed by the proposed below grade entrance and is contained within the subject property and does not impact the adjacent property and the applicant shall obtain a written approval to this effect to the satisfaction of the director of engineering services within 60 days of the de decision of this committee five that the below grade entrance not be used to access an unregistered second unit and lastly that failure to comply with and maintain the conditions of the committee will render the approval null and void. Okay, sir, do you understand and accept these conditions? And uh, we're happy and we will oblige all the conditions. Okay, so there's no further discussion. Looking forward to a motion. Motion to support staff's recommendation by Mr. Russo, seconded by Mr. Nurse. All in favor? This is approved. Thank you very much. Sir. Welcome. Calling application A18159, uh, Krishna Wami and Hispani Vitam Lindum. The property is located at 3 Twin Pine Crescent. <laughs> Good morning, good morning uh, committee members, good morning staff members, and good morning members of the public. My name is Christian Swami Bittelingam. I am the owner of Free Twin Pine Crescent in Brampton, and I live there with my wife, Swami Bittelingam. Um, I'm here today in connection with my application uh, for minor variances in connection with uh, the addition of a side door, upper grade side door entrance. My okay. Uh, any members, any questions or comments regarding this application? Anyone in the audience wishes to speak on this application? No? Staff, could you please bring your comments? Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, the application A18159 is supportable, subject to four conditions being imposed. One, that the variances be approved to the extent indicated in the sketch attached to the public notice. 
two that the above grade entrance shall not be used to access an unregistered second unit three that drainage on adjacent properties is not adversely affected and four that failure to comply with and maintain the conditions of the committee will render the approved variances null and void okay sir do you understand and accept these conditions yes sir okay i, I do understand all the condition and um, i will abide by all the conditions that's good recommendation that's good that's good uh committee members if no further discussion looking for Motion to approve with staff's recommendation by Staffler. Second by Mr. Crouch. All in favor? This is approved. Thank, Thank you, you, sir. Thank you. No other business? Anybody in the audience wishes to speak on any matter? Because please come forward, sir. Good morning, Mr. Chairman. Good morning. Good morning. Members of the panel. I'm a resident of Vivaldi. Uh, we're application number 171 is asking for a variance. Which? Uh, A18171. I did call uh, if anyone uh, uh, wishes to speak regarding this application uh, because we already dealt with this application. However, uh, uh, the property owner requested, uh, were, you, were you here at that time when I called? Um, I was here, I'm not certain I heard, heard a call, I may have missed it, my apologies for that. No problem, um, but uh, we are going to, uh, this application is coming back on January 22nd, next year, uh, in January, like this, two months from now, pretty two much. Months from now. Okay, I did, I did hear that, I was, uh, all year I wasn't aware of it. Okay. Uh, that's why I showed up today. Um, Your name and address for the record? Uh, it's Ramchand. How you spell it, please? R-A-M-C-H-A-N-D. I'm the adjoining neighbor. Your I'm address? 27 Vivaldi. Okay. And my main concern is uh, the objection to the location of the stairs. Um, the way how these homes were built, uh, one would have a an in entrance way all the way to the front. Uh -huh. Second home would have an entrance way almost a half way through the home, just behind the, the garage. My entrance way is exactly opposite the proposed. Actually, it's already built the entrance way of the second unit, and I have no objection of having a tenant there, but just the location. I've spoken with uh, Mr. Yusupadan and I suggested, why don't you put it on the opposite side? Um, I wouldn't have no objection in that. But where it is, it uh, would interfere with my enjoyment of my property among other receives. Mr. Russo? Three, Mr. Chair. Um, sir, respectfully, um, the item was deferred. Um, so you definitely have an opportunity to weigh in and come to the next meeting. Uh, but also, if you'd like to write something in as well, that could be submitted in for the for the record as well. So uh, understanding you were here and we want to, to hear you out, but that item now is has not been, will not be dealt with today. So just wanted to highlight that for you as well. Yeah. Okay. So there's nothing else on my part I have to do. At, at this point in time, and, and correct me if I'm wrong, um, Ms. Myers, you may be able to submit something in writing if it hasn't already been done so. Uh, and then obviously uh, there will be circulation for the next meeting as well. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Sir, you here? Yeah, good morning, Mr. Good morning. Chair and other members. My name is... Uh, I am appointed agent for this case, 171. I'm sorry I was stuck in the traffic and I was late. That's okay. Th th thank you very much for deferring the meeting. My client had to go back home in emergency. Thank you very much. No problem. We'll so January 22nd is the date, uh, the new date for this application. All right. Thank you very much. Okay. Thanks. Awesome. So if no further business, uh, looking for uh, a motion to adjourn this meeting. Motion to adjourn by Mr. Russo, seconded by Mr. Nurse. All in favor? Yes. Meeting is adjourned. 15 minutes.